Yo, what is up, guys? Joker bringing you another video with the 3.25 announcement being right around the corner. I wanted to go ahead and make a video going over a couple things that I'm hoping not to see with this announcement and a couple of things that I'm hoping to see. And a lot of it is pertaining to Necropolis, right? Because of the fact that I think Necropolis was the worst player retention that we worst player retention league that we've had in a really long time. And I believe I know why, right? I think at the end of the league, there's like 2% of the players um, currently playing. And pretty much every streamer moved on at the end of like month two. It, Necropolis just had terrible player retention, right? So I want to go over the things that I think killed Necropolis and things I hope we don't see going into 3.25. So the first thing that I'm hoping that we do not see going into 3.25 is this, right? I don't want to see a league where I have to use 17 fucking quad tabs or have a PhD to fucking understand the league mechanic. I want a nice sample league. I want something like Ultimatum or Legion or Sentinel, right? Something like that. Something where I just run through the map and it doesn't bug me. Uh, this league annoyed the shit out of me with the fact that every map I had to go ahead. Oh, cool, I do have a map in there. Every map I had to go ahead and waste time going over these mods when I knew that there was never going to be anything there. I was able to go ahead and oh my god, there is a gnat in my room and it is bugging the shit out of me. But um, the all flames were all right. This was stupid as fuck. Um, this was stupid as fuck, in my opinion, right? It being on the league tree. Uh, I'm pretty sure they already announced that there's not going to be the nodes on the tree. And good, because that means that we're going to have a full power league. We're not going to have some of this bullshit where you have to waste like 30 points to actually be able to engage with the league effectively. So that's like the first three things, right? I, I don't want a league like Necropolis. We did get some really cool items, but that's also a double-edged sword, right? We got items that we would have never been able to obtain before. Uh, triple fractured mods that are just insanely fucking strong and stuff like that i i just want a base good league right i don't want none of this over complicated overpowered fucking 17 quad tab league i want just a good casual league where i'm able to just go ahead and go back to my roots because i started in legion and one of the things that attracted me was kind of the run and gun play style of legion you clicked the legion and you broke out as much shit as you could right so i'm hoping that 3.25 leans more towards that rather than anything um the second thing that I want to see is two major changes to something, a couple of things that they've introduced, right? I want to see major changes to T-17s because they are the worst thing in the game. I think a lot of players agree with that. I think the overwhelming majority of us agree that T-17 maps are dog shit so i want to see notable changes to those um they're not in a good position and they're not healthy for the game they either need to be removed or completely reworked the way they were originally pitched was a stepping stone between the um between normal bosses and ubers right and they're not uh they're in most cases harder than the uber boss fights like they're just 
they're they're not good. Um, I got no enjoyment out of running them, even with them being overwhelmingly rewarding. It was just a pain in the ass to actually roll the maps to a point where even my like 600 divine character was able to run. I don't think that should be a thing. I don't think there should be that high of a floor uh, for me to enter T17 maps where I have to have a multiple hundred divine character because the vast majority of players are never going to reach a multiple hundred divine character. I'm sorry. It's just facts. I know that majority of the player base is not going to make four or five, 600 divines to put into one character to be able to do one piece of content, right? So they definitely need to do something about these T17 maps. Um, I waited to speak on them until I ran a decent amount of them, right? Like prior to me running them, I was giving them the benefit of the doubt with them being like overly challenging or overly rewarding based on what other people were saying. But after I made that splitting still character and I um, tried them and I was still getting one shot, I, I agreed that no, it's just they're not good for the game. And in my opinion, they're not fun at all. Right. So moving on from that rant, I want to go ahead and see noticeable changes to the scarabs. Right. Um, I am a big fan of, of the scarab rework. Uh, I enjoyed a lot of these, but I believe it's been so long since I made a video. Um, I believe in a previous video, I addressed that they do need to rework this as well, where they change a lot of these scarabs because a lot of them are dead. So I'm hoping to see a uh, decent update to some of these scarabs because with the Atlas changes that they did make, uh, you're able to go ahead and get 100% of any league mechanic that you would like. So a bunch of these... Uh, scarabs that would go ahead and force a mechanic are just redundant. So I said previously, if they went ahead and something like Legion or something like the Harvey, right, where it adds an additional feature, I'd totally be for that, uh, where you there would be two sacred groves in a map, right? That type thing. But other than that, they need a rework. I want to say 75% of these scarabs because majority of them are not being used. On top of that, they need to rebalance the weights because they're just not weighed evenly at all. Like if you take a look, an essence scarab, a calcification, I have hundreds of other scarabs, but I have one of each of these like what? And if you go ahead and take a quick glance at the tab, I really haven't sold the scarabs in an extremely long time. So if you take a look, you can just naturally tell like some things are just significantly rarer and it doesn't make sense based on their location in the scarab tree. So I hope we see uh, a decent amount of changes around this because this is just not good in my opinion the fact that 70 percent of these are dead on entry right um also they need to do something about this i have a feeling they're going to get rid of the gilded scarab of curation because yeah dropping a 40 div scarab was cool but um I believe it was this one, right? Yeah, that dropped an entire stack of the div card. The thing that made Headhunter be five divines, right? Oh, it made its way up to 10. But the thing that crashed the price of a lot of these chase uniques, that needs to be just changed and or reworked, right? Um, where it would be like a lower chance for it to drop as a stack or I don't know how they rebalance it, but they need to definitely do something about that. Um, let me think, was there anything else that I wanted to address? I think I hit them both, right? We hit T17s, we hit the league mechanic and we hit scarabs. I 
and we hit overpowered items. I believe I talked about everything. Sorry, I was ranting there for a minute, so I wanted to make sure I didn't miss anything. But those are a couple of the things that I want to make sure that we don't have going into 3.25. I, I don't want super overpowered gear like this. I mean, yeah, it's cool, but we really need to bring the power ceiling back down a little bit because now it's kind of ridiculous, right? And especially when you're able to print items like this super easily, um, it kind of... It kind of, what is the word for it? It makes end game content redundant, right? Because you're able to just get super OP gear super early on and you the progression is pretty much dead on entry. So no overpowered gear, no 17 quad tabs worth of useless shit, no intentionally stalling me out of my maps like none of that junk i want us to go back to good poe because right now i think the quality of life and everything for poe is good but some of the league mechanics that we've gotten recently just haven't right like tota i i, I didn't like tota uh necropolis I, I don't like Necropolis. What's another recent league? Hold up, let me think. Okay, there we go, right? So Necropolis was... It, it, it was all right. Affliction was, in my opinion, overtuned as well. Um, the only thing that saved Affliction was the fact that the mobs were, the mobs were significantly rewarding. Other than that, it would have been dead on entry, right? Having mobs that were harder than the end game bosses is not a good thing, but the fact that they made it super rewarding kind of balanced it out. Uh, Ancestor, like I said, Toto was dog shit. Crucible was dog shit. Calandra was dog shit. Arch Nemesis was dog shit. So, like, that's what... Uh, let me see. One, two, three, four. Yeah, like, four out of the last six leagues I have not really enjoyed. That's... Oh, my God. That's terrible odds, right? Uh, right? Am I missing anything? Or... Yeah, Affliction was enjoyable. Sanctum was, I I mean, Sanct, I, I'm not going to speak on Sanctum because a lot of people enjoy Sanctum. I just, I don't like Sanctum, but that's a me thing. I'm not going to say it's a bad thing, a uh, bad league because of that. I, I want to speak on like overwhelmingly negative, right? Like Arch Nemesis was overwhelmingly negative. Calandra was overwhelmingly negative, right? Uh, Crucible crucible was overwhelmingly negative uh tota wasn't overwhelming well i don't even remember what the response to tota was but i want to say a lot of us did not like it uh and then we had affliction and then now we have necropolis right so Hopefully we can go back and we can get another league like Scourge or Ultimatum, right? Even Ritual. Um, Heist, Heist was interesting. Once again, it was something that I just personally didn't like, uh, but it was the first league that I farmed a headhunter. Uh, Delhi. Delhi was a cool league. I mean, not the gray on gray. That was fucking stupid. Uh, Metamorph wasn't really good uh blight i mean i'm not a fan of blight but then legion right so honestly i really hope that we can go back as well as i hope we get some kind of expansion um where we get an end game boss i believe the last end game boss we got was it was searing exarch and eater wasn't it those were the last bosses that we've gotten. No, 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 no. It was... Maven? No. Searing Exarch... Yeah, Searing Exarch and Eater of Worlds came out after Maven. So we haven't had an in-game boss in how long? Uh, PoE 
Searing X Arch release. When did Searing X Arch come out? I want to say like years ago, right? Where where is its release date? It's probably down here. Searing X Arch came out in three point seventeen. So yeah, it's it, it's been literal years. If we go back to the leagues, 3.17. Yeah, it's been over two years. It's been two and a half years since we've gotten an end game boss. So we really need some cool end game because uh, they really just haven't done that. I believe it's because of limitations with PoE2. Like, I, I, I think they're saving a bunch of the cool stuff for PoE2 which I don't blame them, but the way that it's being developed right now, it, it almost feels like they're willing to let Path of Exile die so PoE2 can be uh, can consume the entire player base, which I still haven't really seen anything for PoE2. Like, I've seen some things, but I had a previous post where I was saying, like, hey, uh, I, I've been avoiding it. Should I check it out? And uh, I never got a response on that. So I've still just been avoiding it. But I, I believe majority of the dev team is working. I mean, that's at least what all the other content creators are saying. So... I'm just going to parrot that until someone proves it wrong. But hopefully it's not something where they're willing to let PoE die so PoE2 can be good. Which, I mean, PoE2, I hope, is really good. But to end this video out, because it's just been majority of a rant, um, give us a good league. Get rid of T17s. Rework Scarabs. And give us some in-game please and thank you uh but yeah that's pretty much it don't forget to like comment and subscribe to stay up to date with this and future content and until next time take care